In this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you a very simple way to re-edit effects and filters here in Photoshop. Now, the most important thing that we got to get out of the way is you need to set up your objects or your layers as smart objects. So for instance, this photo was brought in as a smart object. If it's not a smart object, whatever photo, whatever thing you have, which, can, you know, the smart objects are indicated by this little icon right here, if you take a look at that, um, you can right click on something and convert it to a smart object. So you can just convert a layer to a smart object. Now, once you do that, what actually happens is any effect you apply to this layer, for instance, I have this image of me uh, selected, any effect you apply is in this drop down area underneath effects or smart filters. So that means any filter we use up here uh, will be a smart filter because this is a smart object. And any effect we do, so if we double click on this and go to the layer effects, any effect we apply here, like for instance, drop shadow, is an effect underneath the smart object. These effects, these filters are all editable. And all you have to do is find that effect like drop shadow and double click on it. It'll take you right to the effect and you can re-edit it and then hit okay. Same thing with these others. So like smart filters like unsharp mask, we can double click on it and re-edit that filter. So we could adjust the, the, uh, the filter here, maybe drop down that sharpness, hit okay. And there we go. This even works with camera raw. So camera raw filter I have applied to this image. I can double click on it it'll just tell me that some filters are stacked on top and they won't show until I, you know, commit everything. That's fine. Hit okay. But this shows the actual original photo, me standing in this office space. And then you can adjust or readjust every little camera raw detail in this photo. Hit okay. It'll apply it and then it'll go down here. So let's add a new effect. Let's add a new filter. Um, this filter, we're going to add, uh, how distort. We're going to do a pinch. How's that? So we're going to pinch this, this photo here. Let's pinch it a lot like this and hit OK, just so you can see that this is a thing. OK, so we've pinched this photo and it's done some weird stuff because of the layer mask. If we undo the layer mask, there I am. I'm looking even better now. That's some tall hair. So we pinched this and maybe I didn't like how much I pinched it. So I can come down here into the smart filters where it applied that pinch and I can double click on it and I can re-edit the pinch. Now it's not gonna show out here, but it will show in this preview window here. And I can say, oh no, I actually wanted it to go the other way. Hit okay, and there we go. I am beefy, now we've been working out. All right guys, so that is how you can re-edit effects and filters. You have to have uh, the object or the layer set as a smart object. That means things like, let's hide this hideous image. Things like this rectangle here, if I just apply an effect, it probably won't be down. It might. Let's see. Uh, no, it'll actually tell me that it has to be rasterized. For instance, this shape in general needs to be converted to a smart object or rasterized. I would highly, highly recommend you convert everything to smart objects if you're doing that. Uh, but like, for instance, this layer down here, which is the background layer, is pixels. So I could apply a filter to it. I could apply a blur to it. Let's just add a blur. We'll add a lot of blur and then hit OK. What happens is when it's a basic layer, that filter just gets baked into the layer. So it, it has adjusted those pixels and you cannot go back unless you use your undo button, Command or Control Z. So what we would do with this is right click on it like I showed you before, convert to smart object, go up to filter, then add the blur. And now we can add that blur in, hit OK, and it's like, OK, well, that was too much blur. Good thing that was a smart object because I can come in here, double click on that just like we did before, and then drop that blur down a little bit until it's exactly where I want it, hit OK. And it's still there, that smart filter, and I can minimize all these so that they don't take up space in my layers panel. Uh, but that's how you can re-edit filters and effects here in Photoshop.